President Edgar Longo has urged the Minister of Housing and Infrastructure Development to carefully scrutinize the contractors before awarding contracts to build public infrastructure. President Longo says only deserving local contractors should be given contracts. The President said this after he was informed that the contractor building a modern police station in Chirundu district has not done a good job and that some works may need to be redone. Hector Sinfukwe was there. <laughs> In order to take development to other parts of the country, government has created a number of districts. The creation of new districts has come with the construction of supporting infrastructure, such as houses, schools, and police stations. Today, President Edgar Lungu was in the newly created Chirundu district to check on developmental projects. The president toured civil servant houses, police station, and the district administration block. Here, the head of state advised the Minister of Infrastructure and Housing to carefully scrutinize the contractors before they are given contracts. Yes, yes, it's one package. Okay. Yes, Your Excellency. Uh, when we do the finishes there. Yeah. Yeah. It will be okay. Except that it has taken yeah. time to, to, to complete okay. the houses. Uh, you can see some working on, on the on the team, but this as a result of because this place is very hot, so when the timber over dries then Minister of Housing and Infrastructure Development Vincent Mwale said the means of finance has promised to release the funds to go towards the completion of projects. Got guidance that actually will focus on projects above eighty percent. So this one is far below 80%. We are focusing on those that are above 80%. Whatever little money we get, we take, uh, we take them to the other projects. So this one has not been able to be funded for quite some good time. The president later addressed PF officials in Chirundu district. Hector Simfukwe, ZNBC News, Lusaka province. And President Lungu says the PF party will win the 2021 general elections because of the projects being implemented across the country. President Lungu says Zambians are able to see that the PF has done compared to other parties that have saved the country. He said this when he addressed village headmen in Chirundu district. Here's a report. President Edgar Lungu has continued meeting chiefs whenever he visits different parts of the country to check on developmental projects. And today, the head of state held a meeting with Chief Chipepo and Skongo in Chirundu district. Here, the president urged the chiefs to engage politicians on the need to promote peace and unity. I need you to continue prevailing on us as your citizens, as your subjects, to value life, respect one another, and behave civilly in a civilized manner towards one another. We can do politics without shedding blood without foul language, without each other. Some people insist on violence. Already we have reports of people trying to incite students, you know, to become intolerant and they begin taking the streets to demonstrate. They are in fact saying we want to make what happened in America happen here. And Chief Chipepo urged President Lungu to ignore those who are in the habit of discrediting everything that his government is doing. To make that thing. So indeed Come 2021, God wants you to come back yeah. to the office until when you finish your term of office yeah. of 10 years to attempt. May you find the favor, come 2021, before the people of Zambia, mm -hmm. let alone before the people of Chirun. Mm -hmm. That when it comes, let them give you a winning vote. You are not a loser, but a winner. The president later addressed village headmen and women. I don't care, I'm not saying give us PM. Give us anyone as long as it talks to us. Because we are here for good. 
me and me up again. There are people in the PPND, in the FDD, in MND who are working with us, and we are working with them. We are, in short, I am saying, give us a character who is interested in your welfare as a constituent, not somebody who is interested in just making money to start and drink tea. But we are willing to stay. We are going to be waiting for the president to come and give you explanations. He's supposed to be here to explain to you. And also to come and say, okay, if you cannot do that road, can you give me a grab your road? That's what you do. Hector Simfukwe, ZNBC News, Chirundo District. And President Lungu is disappointed with engineers who planned for the construction of the Lolanda water facility in Kafue under the bulk water supply project for not including the component of electricity in contract. President Lungu says the project to expand the water treatment plant for Lusaka is completed uh, but cannot start operating because the power component was omitted in the contract. He says he has previously complained to the engineering institution of Zambia about the unprofessional conduct by some engineers in Zambia. President Nongo says it is such conduct that has made government to be redoing a number of works on various projects at a great cost to the country. See, this project is overdue, and overdue because our engineers don't want to be equal to the task. They forgot the energy component of this project. So when water goes up, up, up to Kirungu, Kilanga, you have to boost the pump and get it into the south. How much did it cost? How much was it supposed to cost? Uh, what's the $8 million? $1.8 million. They were talking of $8 million at one time. I don't know how we brought it down. The $150 million US dollars is the overall cost of yes, the project. Yes, but there was a component which was missing. $1.8 million US dollars. Yeah, you see our engineers oh, yeah. are always doing this challenge with them. They say, guys, do a real job. But doctors and lawyers are trying to do their best. Don't take these things for granted. The people who planned this, did you know that there was need for oh, energy, power. Yeah. power. So when we were ready to begin pushing, they came and said, no, we forgot that we needed the, mm. this. And they had to look for money outside the contract price mm. to pay to this one. It took a long time of negotiation. And Water Sanitation and Environmental Protection Minister Dennis Wanchinga said the project is complete and will start operating as soon as the power component is worked on. Lusaka Water and Sorry, uh, Sanitation Company Managing Director Jonathan Kampata said once complete, the project will reduce the water shortage in Lusaka. The Kafir Water Project is expected to expand water supply in Lusaka. And President Longo has directed Home Affairs Minister Stephen Kampiongo to stop those wanting to bring anarchy in the country in the name of freedom of speech. President Longo says he will tolerate criticism on political grounds, but not to insult as long as he is president. He was speaking when he addressed PF members in Chirundu district. Wilson Mulinda was there. He was received with songs of praise by PF members in the district. President Edgar Lungu was in Chirundu to check on ongoing projects in the district. The head of state in the company of members of the Central Committee and ministers thanked PF members for their endless support. President Lungu used the opportunity to direct Home Affairs Minister Stephen Kampiongo to bring to book those that break the law. Without the president, not just the laws which can deal with you. So if this continues, we will tolerate it, but if the law is broken, obviously we will deal with you as the law breaker. And that should be very taken for political intention. So I want to make this very clear because I'm not going to fight the president, but I'm also president of the Republic of Canada. And when you break the law, you're on your own. Because those who sponsor you will keep away. President Lungu has also urged PF members across the country to take pride in every developmental project since 2011 because it is them, together with all Zambians, that made it a reality. Development which has taken place in Zambia from 2011 to date is because of PF. It's because of you, the people, members of PF. So you should be very proud of the achievement that you have made at PF. You should be very proud. And Mr. Campiongo said his men and women in uniform are ready to act. Usaka mutu, siku timukayambe umenya nandeo. 
wa serikali huyu mwaka hubwela sibaza sowela hii wose wamena kuoneta ndeo zo menya na menya na ndale uno mwaka hubwela sadaona bwino yai wason mulinda zirin bc news chirundu thank you so much for watching don't forget to like leave a comment and subscribe